I'm at a gypsy. You know, look, I'll end on, you know, another, unless you have, I mean, again, ask more questions, but just end on this T-Mobile years ago, years ago, 2002, I brought them in and they spent a lot of money in the sport. They spent, they had Dave Mira, Sean White, Gretchen uh, Blyler, uh, Bucky Lassick, Bob Burnquist, Ryan Nyquist. I mean, it's one of the most dominating action sports teams ever, all T-Mobile. And then they also sponsored the X Games that year. And then they also spent money with me to activate and did all this sort of stuff. Mike Belcher is still my friend today and he's still there. I play in a golf tournament with him and his family every year, foundation event. This was in 2000. That's how long I've kept him around. Um, He was lower then. He's now like a big, big boss at T-Mobile. You can imagine 20-something years later. So this is in 2003, I want to say, or 2004. 2003, the super T-Mobile team. I'm talking, they dominated summer and winter, right? You had Dave Mira, Ryan Nyquist, Bucky, Bob, Sean White, Gretchen Byler. It just was dominating. And... Lasted a year or two. Then they came back and they were a big sponsor. They activated at X Games. They did TV commercials with the guys, everything huge. And they left and they, I came to them and I said, and we were still their consulting agency also at Wasserman. And they ended up spending a shit ton of money the following year in the NBA. And Mike said to me, I said, why? What did I do wrong? I thought we did something great. He goes, Steve, I, it was so fragmented. I couldn't tell which way. It's like we had to pay mm. more money to X Games in order to show the logo and this and that and then this thing over here and then we had to do this to activate. I read a check to the NBA and it's just done. Mm. You know, I, I they even tell me what player to pay half the time. It's like I don't have all this fragmentation. And and again, it's not always perfect. Sure, they have to go get the athlete to T-Mobile, but it's just easier. They know the rights, let's just yeah, say, yeah, right? Yeah, And, you know, again, I just think that WSX, they are on the right track is that if they could get this going right because they want to take care of the teams and the you know and share everything, but in order to get there, we got to get some kings over there. Yeah, we just have to. Yeah, you know, you got to get or or if not, then it's just going to take longer. They'll have to build the series and and you know find the next Jet Lawrence and don't let him leave Australia. Find the next Chad Reed. Find the next Ken Roxon. So that's another approach, but you might spend what is Supercross on fifty years? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. you might spend some time it's and not, more money. I just think you spend more money, more time. Yeah, it's not the move. But but again, it's not my business and I'm not writing the check. So here I am, you and I both, we're talking without our wallet, right? Yeah. So but what I did, I, I just to be transparent, I want all the agents to know this and all the other people in the industry is that if Ken was to do it, it's not just pay to play. I want to be fair, just like live. It's a team. You have equity. I want I want the right th- for them to recoup it. Because guess what? They would have merch on site. Feld don't have that. So I'll give him. I'll give him that. I'll give him the rights to go do a video game and all that. If he's paid right, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Because that's Honda better for came everybody. To, if Honda came to me, if Honda came to me when Kenny first signed the contract and said, you're not going to do Red Bull and you're not going to do this, we'll just pay you dollar for dollar. Now we own them to go sell it. My life's easier. I got to do one <laughs> deal. Yeah. Instead of doing a Breitling deal, a Red Bull deal, a Fox deal, go ahead and own them. Now, again, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be worth it. I think they'd get more. There's yeah. more value in just the right, if you had the whole package. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So, and, and then and you I can pay to, Kenny more. Yeah. And, and I guess to, to bookend it too, like I want, there was a, I think there was a bit of a narrative. Like I was definitely excited about WSX and I was excited about more Supercross. And like what I, what I was excited about yeah. was to have, to have 40 dudes with jobs that are riders that don't you know that that they just don't make that much money and to go to these new places and to see these new fans and for a chance for for uh, like dude craziest off season ever you know like kenny's kenny's free agency i mean you know we, we don't even have time to talk about it now but kenny's free agency was just one of the most like brilliant things that i think has happened in the sport in fucking 15 we owned years. the internet. Bro, for real. And Kenny wasn't <laughs> even owned, trying. Nobody talked about Eli. Poor Eli. The guy whooped everybody's ass and nobody talked about him. Yeah. Dude, and, and Kenny, like, yeah. for uh, talking to Kenny a bunch after it, you know, he was like, dude, I just was being myself. Like, I actually, this, none of this was a plan. I didn't think the whole free agency thing would be like a storyline. N- now, I mean, Dude, talk about a guy like for me. Well, I'm in the business. Of, I'm in the business of telling stories. That's my job. I got to look for stories that are out there. And then I got to get the people on, and then I have to yeah. explore the stories that I think are worth telling that can like elevate the sport. Right? Fucking Ken Rocks and this there just give us everything. Like the free agency, he dumped HRC. I actually initially thought, okay, they've probably 
motocross is off the table they're probably just halving his deal he probably gets like 500 grand and he's going to wsx because they're paying him for you know 350 and then the sponsor he's, he's coming out on top i didn't know that he walked away from a, a million dollar plus deal like that's fucking crazy that's a million like a, dollar no 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 no, no, no. multi-million dollar per year it's insane but but multi-million dollar but yeah. look what came out of that he went he won the world title arguably yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. And by agree. the way, look at Honda; they're fine too. They got Chase Sexton and and Jet Lawrence. I'm not mad at them. They made a business decision. Yeah, and but I think Kenny's happier. Yeah, and and I mean, we we won in the sense that we got to watch this like crazy uh, off season with this guy that you know f- years gone past. Like people have just made. People have made so... There's been so many views collected. There's been so many reels watch of people just shitting on Ken Roxon. And it's like a couple of years ago, you'd go back and you'd think like his career is done. And he had maybe one of the gnarliest years of his life last year in terms of like publicity, growing a fan base, his impact on the sport. I mean, he goes and wins the WSX, which by the way, I think you have to call a world championship is racing multiple continents. Didn't have the races that you would expect but it's like you know uh, what else do you call it in the, is it the interim world championship i just i think we all just have to be like right it's the world championship but anyway it's like he does that he beats eli at, at paris and then he goes and he rides every single brand of motorcycle lights up the internet gets people so excited for supercross in 2023 gives a complete new life to a manufacturer that was dead in the water i mean he's he sold a lot of suzuki's already before he even got to a1 23 suzuki sales there's a there's a spike on that graph you know so it's like i i just think that everyone wins out of of this deal more guys have jobs more guys have rides places that you know like think about the people that are going to go to the german supercross that don't regularly watch the ama We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.